What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the male torso. So let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do when drawing the male torso is begin by making the neck. And I'm going to make that in the center of my page by just drawing two small lines. They look kind of like parentheses. Hopefully you can see that but they look like parentheses if you can. And now what I'm going to do is make uh, two sloping lines coming off of each of those lines going out. So this line is gonna have some sort of angle to it. It's going that way, coming from this line that's on the right. I'm gonna do the exact opposite on the other side. And then I'm just gonna construct the shoulders just a little bit. And those are the deltoids, so it's gonna have some sort of a curve to it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm not going to do much to it because um, we're going to draw the body first before drawing the arms because we don't want the arms to be in the way of anything so that's why we're going to focus on the arms last. But now that we got that in place let's now draw a line of symmetry. So since I have my uh, Canton mixed media paper here I can just make a line that goes down like this or if you have a ruler you can use that too but um, actually let me darken that real quick with my pencil. So you guys can see that okay and now to make the male torso we're gonna start off with a rectangle like a big rectangle that goes through this line so after it goes through this line it'll come off as squares and that's gonna be the chest so one big rectangle or squares however you want to see it I'm gonna draw that in and everything is gonna be symmetrical, so it's gonna be the same on both sides of this line of symmetry. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is gonna make a trapezoid kind of shape that goes inwards by a lot. And it's gonna be connected to this rectangle that we just drew. So this is how it's gonna be connected, like this. So rectangle and smaller trapezoid, right underneath it, okay? And then right underneath the trapezoid, I'm gonna draw like a little square. Square right here. May look slightly like a rectangle, but that's okay. But those are all the basic shapes that we're gonna need to draw in the male torso. And then anywhere that's past this square will be the hips, the crotch, and everything else. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, so coming up here to where the chest is, you see how this square has some sort of an angle to it? We're actually gonna make that curved. I'm gonna trace this line a little bit and make it into a curve instead of a straight line like the square is. Okay. And then right here where the line of symmetry is, we can do the same thing but just not as much. Like that. And now coming to the trapezoid shape, we can make a curve around those straight lines. Like this. And then at the bottom of that curve, we can begin to make a, like a very slight S shape coming down to the bottom of this square. So you see how there's like an S curve, it goes, it curves this way, and then that way. And then we're going to make a different curve on the other side, so it's going to come this way, and then out, and then come to the bottom, like that. Okay, and then here's a straight line where this square is. We're gonna make a curve around that as well.
and there we go so we're not done yet so what I am gonna do is make the hips a little bit wider by adding a slight curve to the bottom and just erasing the lines that we don't need and kind of extending that curve like that and now these two ends where I'm gonna make this X if you can see it X here and X here those are the hips and when we draw the boxers we're gonna start there but we're not there yet because now what we're gonna draw is the abdomen so I'm gonna draw like a little uh, arc shape that goes all the way up to this trapezoid and make somewhat like a door like a door shape kind of And as you can see, with the line of symmetry, it kind of looks like we're making a six pack. Well, we're gonna do that too. But since we already have a line here from the trapezoid, we can draw another line that goes right underneath it. That way we have one, two, three, four, five, six sections to make a six pack, okay? So now we're gonna take the curves on this door shape. I'm just gonna make a small line like that. And that's part of the abdomen. And right before we get to drawing the six pack, I'm gonna pick a point on this door shape. I'm gonna make somewhat of an angular line that marks where the crotch is. And then again, doing that on the other side of the line of symmetry as well. And there we go. So now we can get to drawing the six pack. So you see this shape over here where I made one square that kind of overlap the other? That's what we're gonna do when we're drawing the six pack. So all we gotta do is, you see there's, so to make that, you see how there's an angle with the line of symmetry and this like little guideline here for the trapezoid? That's gonna help us. So we're just gonna make that into a curve and then make it into a slight curve over here like that and then do the same thing to this next one and then we can do it again for one last one just above this line because we don't want to make it too close to the bottom and then extend these curves a little bit if you want and there we go so we got the chest, the abdomen, and the hips drawn. And now we can add a little bit extra to this uh, male torso. So I'm gonna take my Prismacolor Cauli Race pencil and I'm just gonna extend it a little bit, coming down, just to make the legs. So on this line of symmetry, or using these angular lines, we can make the crotch, which looks like a bag hanging off of something. Okay, and then we can make the legs on each side of the line of symmetry. My symmetry looks a little bit off, but that's okay. And then we don't have to do much from here because all we're drawing are the thighs of the legs. If you do have a larger piece of paper, because you know mine stops here, if you do have a longer piece of paper and you wanna draw the rest of the legs, you can do that as well. And if you want to learn from me how to draw the legs, I got videos right here in the card. If you want to learn how to draw legs, female legs, and anything else similar to it. And there will also be links in the description to that as well. But in this case, we're just going to focus on drawing like the top portion of the thighs. And then, now that we got that drawn, I can uh, quickly sketch in some boxers. Give that a little bit of an outline. Like that. Okay, and then all we have left to do is to draw in the arms. So following the principles of anatomy, the arms, including the hand, stop at the mid thigh. So typically the arm will stop right about here. 
So what I am going to do is from the shoulders, which we already drew here, I'm going to draw a circle. I'm just going to draw a straight line like that. And another straight line that's about the same length. And then from this dot to this X will be the size of the hand. And I'm just going to come off of this little curve, the deltoid. I'm just going to make the arm like that. I'm just going to use like a, a distorted cylinder kind of shape for the arm. And then I'm going to make a curve from the elbow to the wrist. Because, you know, that's what I do when drawing arms. And then I'm just going to quickly sketch in a random hand movement. But if you do want to learn from me how to draw the hand as well, I got three videos on drawing the hands. Two of them are public on YouTube. And the last one is available on my Patreon. So in the description, there's going to be two links to both those videos. And there will also be a link to my Patreon so you can get to that other hand video too if you want. But for now, I'm just going to draw in just a basic hand movement like this. Don't need to go very fancy with it, but um, that's what we got. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but I'm going to time lapse that because, you know, this took not forever, but... It took some time to do and all you're really doing on this side is the same thing because like I said this entire thing because it's a line of symmetry it's going to be symmetrical it's going to look the same on the other side so again I'm going to do that in time lapse and then come back to you guys. All right, and after adding the other arm, we're pretty much done at this point. That's how you draw the male torso. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.